Advertising is killing my game, how not to lose players due to monetization. After updating the game, revenue from monetization dropped. Users complain about intrusive ads. Do you want to increase revenue without losing players? Today, we will figure out why advertising can negatively affect player retention and how to avoid this problem. My name is Denis Yashanov. I am a monetization expert at Cast AI. I noticed that after updating the game, my ad revenue decreased. What could this be related to and how to fix the situation? This could be related to the following reasons. The first is ad display. It is possible that during the update you somehow affected the ad blocks or ad display algorithms. To verify, you can check the number of requests for daily active users and the number of impressions per daily active users. If in the new update you released, these metrics have dropped significantly, it means that some ads are not being displayed and you need to check what the reason might be. If the metrics match, meaning they are identical or close to the corresponding indicators from the previous version, then the reason might be something else specifically the game metrics. So, after the update, your retention rate or playtime might have dropped significantly. Accordingly, this directly affected the number of ad impressions, the total amount of ads, and the revenue. The dependency here is linear. If the user plays less and returns to the game less frequently, the total number of impressions and revenue decreases. As in the previous point, a comparison needs to be made. First, Compare the request's impressions to daily active users, DAU, then compare the overall DAU to each other. You can also view, for example, the percentage ratio of new users to old users in the analytics dashboard. This is because old users generally have a lower eCPM than new users, which can impact overall revenue. It is advisable to take all measurements only after a brief adaptation period of time of the new version. And after you check these indicators, it gives you a comprehensive understanding of where you can find the problem and fix it. Some players complain that the advertisement in my game interferes with their playing experience. How to determine when ads become too intrusive, how to avoid such situations. Most often players complain about a certain type of ad, and this is the so-called full screen or interstitial format. Advertisement can often be disruptive if it unfortunately interrupts the user's gameplay. For example, the player finished a level, received a reward, pressed the next level button, and at the moment when the gameplay commenced, a full screen advertisement appeared. This indeed disrupted his gaming experience and caused him irritation. They then leave an angry comment on your page. To prevent this, you need to carefully schedule the ad display. One option is to show the ad after the level ends and the reward is received. So, when the player has already clicked the next button but the level hasn't started yet, you show the ad during this micro pause. Players also get annoyed when ads appear suddenly. For example, in idle games, you often encounter a situation where you're running and a bonus appears right under your feet, which is given for watching a rewarded video. You can't avoid it and end up watching an unskippable ad. Avoid such scenarios. If you want to give the player a bonus within their field of view, place this bonus for watching an ad at least a few pixels away from the player so they can consciously make that choice. If you have a long level in your game and as a result, the frequency of interstitial ads per user is not high, but the playtime is high, you can integrate ads within the level. To do this, in order to achieve this, you need to warn the player or the user. You can develop some kind of visual icon or symbol with the word ad and a countdown timer, or a filling circle or progress bar, so that when it completely fills up, the user will then see an interstitial ad. In this particular way, you have at least taken a significant step towards being more user-friendly. And remember that there is no single, perfectly crafted solution that can be called intrusive advertising in any situation or context. Players will always complain about ads, they will always dislike them.
However, if you use common sense, understand your unit economics, and have goals to achieve, you can manage this effectively. This will help you in order to avoid some potentially super negative and extremely unfavorable scenarios or situations. How to determine the optimal frequency of ad display to avoid scaring off users while maximizing revenue? On average, the frequency of ad display is determined by your mediation's ability to prepare ads for display and the length of your level. It is best to structure the level length between 45 seconds to one minute and show ads between them if we are talking about the full screen format. A banner can be shown and updated every 15 seconds, but it is important to follow the guidelines for its use so that it does not overlap any game elements, cover buttons, and so on. And again, as you might expect, there is no single formula for all projects in general. Therefore, you can always look at how competitors implement advertising and also use common sense in the implementation of advertising scenarios. And if you want to see real results and significantly improve the monetization of your game, try using cast.ai mediation in practice. It is easy to use and offers great support. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos. Join our community for more updates and tips.